negative x in, right? If you have negative x times x, you get negative x squared. And then negative x times 4, you get negative 4x. So that should be the first part. Then you have plus 4x squared and then minus 7x. So if you do the negative x squared and you combine it with a positive 4x squared, you should get positive 3x squared. And then you take your negative 4x and your negative 7x and combine them, and you get negative 11x. Okay, and that's our answer. So remember that if you have a negative x squared, that's really the same as negative 1x squared. Okay. All right, and the last little bit we have, it says find an expression for the perimeter of the figure on the right. So if you're finding the perimeter of something, what do you do to find the perimeter? Add up all the sides. Yeah, you're going to add up all the sides. So we're going to have the perimeter is equal to 3a plus 4 plus 6 plus 2a plus 4. So I get 3a plus 2a is 5a. And then we have 4 plus 6 plus 4. We have plus 14. So the perimeter is not too bad. You just add up all the sides. But the area is a little bit harder. Okay, so the area, we don't have like a rectangle or a parallelogram or any of those formulas that we've memorized already. But what we could do is we could break it apart. So do you guys see the natural place to break? I think like right here would be a good place to break. Or you could break it here too. So we'll do it right across here. Okay, so I have kind of like a square shape, but I don't know if it's technically a square, so I can't say it's like 2a and 2a. But I do know that this whole side is 6, and then over on the other side I had 4. So what's this one? 2, yeah. You guys see it? So if I talk about the area of the big rectangle... So let's put this one in red. What is the area of the, this big rectangle? Yeah, you have four for your length or width, right? And then multiply by the other one. 3a plus 4, right? So that's the first part. That's the red one. So maybe I'll underline it in red so you can see it. And what about this other one? Uh huh. And then the blue one? 2 times 2a, right? Good. So if I simplify this expression, Peter's right, we have 12a plus 16, and then we have plus 4a. So our final result, combine your like terms, we have 12a plus 4a, so 16a plus 16. And that is our answer. All right, and then we have one last problem, don't we? Don't we have a part C? Yeah. Got cut off, apparently. So part C? Find both the perimeter and the area if A equals one fifth. Yeah, so if A is equal to one fifth, we're going to find both. All right, now the perimeter is not bad because our perimeter would be 5A plus 14. So when I plug in A equals one fifth, that's actually pretty nice, right? Because what's 5 times one fifth? One. Yeah, it's one. Right? So if you write it this way, 5 times 1 over 5, right? the 5's reduce out. So we get 1. And then we have plus 14. So we get a total of 15. So the perimeter, not so bad. We don't know the units, so that would just be like units to the first power. So like units. But then our area is a little bit harder. Oh, it's down here. I do have room. I think I can drag all of it down. Whoops. Nope, I can drag the words down, but not the writing, maybe. All right, anyway, so if I'm finding the area, your area is 16a plus 16. So if I plug in 16 um, times 1 fifth, right, that's what a is, plus 16. It's a little gross. I can handle it. So I'm going to think of it as 16 over 1 times 1 fifth. 
So that's going to give you 16 over 5 plus 16. And you could do this a couple different ways. You could write 16 over 5 as a uh, mixed fraction, which some of you guys still like. You probably did a lot of that in pre-algebra, right? So if it was a mixed fraction, what would it be? Yeah, it'd be 3 and 1 fifth. And then adding to 16, then you would just get a total of 19 and 1 fifth. So you can do it that way. Or if you didn't want to do it that way, you could always do 16 over 5 plus 16, but then uh, multiply by 5 over 5, so you have common denominators. Does anybody know 16 times 5? Use your mental math skills. What's 5 times 10 and then 5 times 6? Yeah, it's 80, right? So you have 5 times 10 is 50 plus 30, so 80. So you have 16 over 5 plus 80 over 5. So you could also have 96 over 5. So either way. And then those units would be units squared because it represents an area. All right? All right, so those are the answers for those.